Welcome back everyone. This is the last video for this year 2020. What an year. In this video we are going to look at views in advanced TV. If you like the video please subscribe. The toolbar we are going to look at is the quick view toolbar which is this button and we are going to deal with uh, these four tools and this one. As a starter model I just created a default grid and then added a couple of columns here and also created using the extended modeling tool a portal frame and then added some connections the apex connection and the column to beam connection that is uh, this connection and added a base plate. The first tool we are going to look at is quick view on object. So I click on the toolbar and then select an object then select a direction and then press enter it is prompting me for some distances I'm going to keep pre pressing space bar you can look at the values and then change the values for experimentation and here is a view couple of things which you have to note is the user coordinate system the UCS has changed with the Z direction parallel to the arrow you clicked and then uh, the you are only seeing that object the full length of the object from the Z direction you picked. Now to see the entire model you click on quick view and show everything. The next tool we are going to look at is a view on assembly, quick view on assembly. So I click on that and then I select a, a part of the assembly. Let's look at uh, this column. I select that one and then I have to select a direction in which I want to view the assembly. I'm going to select this one. So select that and then there are a uh, few prompts for view depth and how much you want to see I'm going to accept everything and here is the assembly only that assembly is shown everything else is hidden now if you want to change the orientation of the assembly on your screen you can rotate the Z axis using the user coordinate system so I'm going to rotate around Z so that's it so and then press the plan view and that's the view to show everything I click this button so that's everything the next tool is a quick, quick view on join box so this is the icon you click on that and then you have to select a join box so I'm going to select this one again you got to pick a view direction so I'm going to pick uh, this direction and press enter 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 and that is the joint so the only you see the joint the elements in the joint the next tool we are going to look at is create model views so click on that and there are four options here so we look at them one by one this one is with one point UCS so click on that and then you have to select a point and it will pro prompt you for a view name I'm going to give it some name hit enter and then again you have to select a view direction so I'm going to select that view and uh, hit enter and that's the view box. Now to activate the view you double click the view box and uh, you can see that's the view. You, everything else is hidden. If you want to see a little more you can drag it. Now you can delete this joint box if you uh, the view box. If you delete it you see the entire model. So that's the entire model. The next tool we are going to look at is uh, a model view definition with two points. So I'm going to select that and then select two points in the XY plane and it is prompting me for a depth. I'm going to accept the default 500. So spacebar again, spacebar is asking me for a name. I'm going to give a name and then I am being prompted for a view direction. So I'm going to select that one and that's the view model view box created to activate it double click and the view is activated you can drag this view boxes handles to see a little more or less 
and if you delete it you see the entire model the next tool is to create a model view along a grid line so I select that one then I select a grid line and then it is asking me to give a name so I'm giving it a name and then it has created to activate it again <coughs> I have to double click and that the view is activated. So again if I delete the uh, <coughs> view box, you see the entire model. The last tool we are going to look at is to create a view on the join box. So I click on that one, then I have to select a join box. Select uh, that one and it's prompting me for a view name. I am going to type a name. And then you have to look at give a view direction. So I'm going to pick a view direction which is along this red arrow. Let's hit enter and the view is created. Now to activate it again, double click and then you everything else is hidden and whatever is in that box is visible. Hi guys, thank you for watching the video and if you like the video, please subscribe.